Replacing the battery on a modern vehicle is no longer a straightforward fit and forget task. On vehicles with advanced technology, such as start-stop systems, battery replacement can be complex and time-consuming. It is essential the battery on these vehicles is replaced with one of the correct technology and specification. If a vehicle is fitted with an AGM start-stop battery, then the replacement must also be AGM start-stop. The same applies to EFB products needing to be replaced with EFB or they can be replaced with AGM. Most modern vehicles come fitted with a battery management system or BMS. This must be reset through the onboard diagnostics OBD port to tell the vehicle when the battery has been replaced. Failure to fit the correct battery or reset the BMS can cause issues such as battery failure and even complete loss of start-stop functionality. On many new vehicles, the battery is not always fitted under the bonnet and locating it can take time. The replacement process can also be extremely time consuming with some vehicles requiring up to an hour and a half of work. After your battery has been replaced, it may be that the BMS on your vehicle will have to be reset in order for all the electrical components to work properly. On vehicles fitted with a BMS, it is essential to reprogram the unit to validate that a new battery has been fitted. This requires specialist diagnostic equipment found in most independent workshops. However, the GSU ASA UFIT is a mobile service tool that can be used for battery configuration. It is robust, easy to use, and means that workshops don't need to tie up expensive diagnostic tools on battery replacement. Typically, validation takes less than one minute, and it is as simple as this. Once the battery has been fitted, plug the OBD connector into the vehicle's OBD port and switch the ignition to the on position. Select replace battery, then select the manufacturer of your car. After, choose validate battery and then follow the on-screen questions by answering either yes or no. Then select the battery manufacturer and press OK. Battery validation is now complete. It really is as easy as that. Additional modules for service reset, electronic park brake and diesel particulate filter can also be added to your UFIT tool. For more information about the UFIT, visit the GSU ASA website.